All right, welcome, friends. Now let's get into jewelry, huh? Now jewelry can possibly be the most annoying thing to photograph. And the only reason for that is that it's so shiny, so reflective. Now let me, t let, let me uh, demonstrate to you the two kinds of um, surfaces uh, an object can have in terms of shininess. Here's two Christmas baubles. This one here, well, yeah. This one here is obviously shiny, super shiny, like mirror shiny. That's like super dangerous, okay? This one here is not shiny. The word you, you call this is matte, matte. Matte means not shiny, okay? So, and as you can see right now in this light, I mean, this one looks pretty good, the soft light and everything like that. This one, it's got a problem because it's got crazy reflections going over here. You can see in it, you can see the whole softbox shape. It looks strange. That's why jewelry is difficult because it is, it so perfectly reflects everything around you that if you don't get the angle right and the lighting right, it can look really bad or really good. Okay, something simple like this, this is like easy. This is easy, like you put that on there, you pop this on, on here, and to make matters worse, I'm shooting on a mirror, but like you just take a shot of that right there. I mean, like that's almost impossible to take a bad shot of. See what I mean? Good. Now, compare that to uh, this terrible thing. And look, I mean, aside from the thing not being very clean, you can literally see the photographer in that because it's a mirror. It's a mirror. All right, that's what makes jewelry so annoying to photograph because it's a mirror. It sees everything. This, because it don't reflect, really, it just looks nice. Most of the light stays on it. Here, it's throwing away the light. The light's hitting it, it's bouncing back and it's a clear picture of everything. Now, honestly, this is worst case scenario. Let's say you did want to photograph this. Well, your picture shows the photographer himself. This is, this is like worst case scenario. And in this, in, this, in this situation, this is where things like photo editing comes to the rescue because you can literally go in and you can remove the person from the photo, okay? That's basically all you could do with that one. But anyway, jewelry, okay? That's showing giving you some idea of how the light works on different uh, object surfaces. So now let's just see. Uh, this is like a bracelet shaped as a tiger. I'm gonna pop this on here. Now this is actually quite, quite, this, this, this one might actually be fine. Take a shot of that. I mean, that's cool. Whole thing isn't in focus. You gotta use the whole focus stacking technique to get the whole thing in focus. Um, but actually that one's all right. Beautiful actually. Now let's just say for instance, we turn off this light. Now, actually before I do that, I wanna show you this other thing. What's this? This is a, a block of metal with someone's name on it. Now you put this on here. Now have a look at this, yeah? Now I'm gonna place it on a diagonal. Now my fingers are making this muddy as hell. So I'm just going to take my microfiber cloth and just clean off all the fingerprints. Beautiful. And then lay it out straight on that nice angle. Good, now look at this, huh? Let's take a shot. And because I'm on a mirror, the mirror is constantly getting little dust particles on it. Let's just take a shot of this. Now you have a look at that. Very interesting. Now the, 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 the top of it, where the name is, you can hardly see that. But the side of it is so bright. Right? Now the reason for this is this reason. It's super reflective and it is reflecting. Bing! The light is hitting it and it is bouncing off and it is going somewhere else. Now what you're running into here is literally because that surface of it is pointing upwards, 
you're actually seeing a reflection of the roof and the roof right now is black. So it looks black, even though it's not, it's gold. Can't you see it's gold? So the way you fix that is you place something in there so that it will reflect the color that you want. For example, a piece of white card. Now if I take this shot again, okay, I'll get that there. Now, this time I'm going to give it a little roof. I'm gonna put this at such an angle that uh, it's going to reflect the white card. And look at that, now it actually looks metallic. It's showing its true color because it's seeing some white. Now the problem here is, which I've just realized, because I'm shooting on a mirror, the, the very ground it's sitting on is, is reflecting the white now too. So let's just get rid of this mirror. Let's take it back, make it a little bit more easy on me. And let's put in something. Let's get my little purple. Okay, so again, you got the same problem, but by placing in my, my white reflecting card over the top. Boom. You've now brought, you've now made that reflect what it should by just holding something at the right angle that you can see it, because depending on the angle that we're shooting at, it's gonna reflect something different. Okay, now look, this might be the simplest way. Get this nice and close to your light and then shoot at an angle so that the light is behind it. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to reflect the light of your softbox. And boom. Now still that surface is a little too shiny for my liking, that background that it's on. So I'm just going to take it off. I'm going to put on a matte background, a background which is not shiny like this ball. So then this little fella and again get my angle right on the placement of it. That's good but it's a little bright because it's much closer to the light now. Okay, something like that. You get the idea? I'm gonna try something else. Now again, it's like composition. It's just kind of like, well, does that piece of beautiful metallic jewelry really look any good on a piece of wood, for example? No, it doesn't, because now it looks like it's something that belongs in the kitchen, not around your neck. All right, so that's the secret to shiny objects. It's literally like, it's like what, what is the object seeing in the reflection? And all you do is you put some light or something white that's gonna reflect light in the vision of the reflection and then it's going to appear on the surface. You know, it sounds complicated, but just like play around with it, give it a shot and try it out.